Um, I think something needs to be done about terrorism, but I don't exactly agree on going to the Middle East and just bombing anywhere, and it seems like the, the government's not being very cautious about what's going on, and it's basically how I feel <laughs> about it. Because I don't think two wrongs make a right, basically. Long story short. Do you support the war on terror? Uh, yes, I do, actually. And do you want to know why? Yeah. Or, um, well, I'm sort of a Republican. I'm kind of like a more liberal Republican, but I don't think that what's been happening to our country, I know that we have been, you know, our hands are in lots of different areas in the world, and we are partially to blame for this, but I think that something needs to be done about it. And so I support the war for it. Well, somewhat. In what way? Well, just because I don't, I just wanted them to do pretty much whatever it takes to protect us. But then again, a lot of innocent people are dying over it, so it's kind of, I'm kind of in between. So. Uh, I feel that everyone should have uh, equal, oh, to the camera, <laughs> should have an equal opportunity um, just living wherever they want. I, why do I support it? Well, uh, I can't really think of any good reasons right now, but I know I'm, um, maybe just because I don't think that people will stop doing the, the suicide bombings and the terrorist acts unless we do something about it ourselves. I don't think no action is going to stop them. So that's why I support it. I think it's really important to stand up for our country and what we believe in, but I don't think the way we're going about it right now is the best way to go. I'm not really sure the best thing to do. I think maybe compromising and look at the source of the problems and what exactly happened and trying to fix it that way would be the best thing to do. I feel if uh, we're going to address the issue of terrorism or fight a war against terrorism, we would begin right here in our own country. So that's basically my opinion on the war of quote unquote terrorism. I think that the war uh, that President Bush is trying to do or whatever is a whole bunch of silliness and I think it shouldn't go on. Yeah. That's it. I feel that. Well, I don't know really because uh, because in the beginning, first, they never really said Osama bin Laden or it's like the real like culprit. They just said like, yeah, they suspect him. Like, yes, you should get him because like they didn't do it before. Like they, he did, he was guilty of the Ken like the bombings in Kenya, the, the U.S. embassies. Mm -hmm. And all they did was send cruise missiles there, but I guess they should have gone him before, but, um, like, uh, yeah, probably as an American, I would support it because, you know, you don't want, I mean, it's like, um, you just don't want them to, like, I mean, yeah, terror is just a bad thing, and you don't want people going around. So probably, I think, I think people, I think, but, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. But, okay, we have to look at more deeply. I think people acted on their emotions after 9-11 was more, yeah, let's go to get them, you know. Like, I remember seeing on television one guy, they asked, they interviewed, like, this, like, a man, old man, and he was like, you know what, we should, a nuclear bomb should be going right there to Afghanistan, Afghanistan, you know. So I think, like, we do have reason, but there's also reasons not to, I think. Okay, actually, I probably wouldn't know those reasons right now, but I think for the general public, I think more, like, the, more of the Americans are, probably acting or thinking through emotions like just the thoughts like they I've, I don't think they probably know the whole like story or the whole the picture big picture you know they're just like okay we got bombed and oh, I mean okay we got terrorized let's go get them you know if they probably don't even know the motives or what the US has been doing around the country I don't necessarily support any particular war um, I don't think there's really a reason to have violence you're fighting violence um, fighting violence with violence. Uh, I just think that's wrong in particular. I haven't really followed all of the events, but I'm kind of hesitant to support any, the particular war on ter terrorism knowing the history behind America's involvement um, you know, within um, international issues and also just uh, issues you know, here, domestic uh, issues too. So in general, I, I haven't followed all of the, all of the um, events and the things that led up to um, you know, before the war and everything, the war on terrorism. But I, I generally do not support it, though. Yes, I support the war on terror uh, because, uh, you know, it's these people that uh, 
that are committing suicide to kill a lot of other people, there's, there's no way to stop them except, uh, you know, to get rid of them. Uh, they, they won't, uh, you know, they don't communicate. They don't, uh, I don't think they have any morals. Uh, they think nothing about death, which is, uh, you know, it's a pretty big, uh, oh, uh, overt or sin, you know, to kill yourself in the first place and then to kill a lot of other people, then that's even, uh, makes it even worse. And I don't think that these people are really aware of uh, what is going to happen to them after they die. I mean, uh, if they knew that, uh, I don't think they would be doing this. But anyway, I think that they should be stopped forcefully because there's no other way. If I support the war on terror. Well, the thing is, though, was that America, um, they kind of put themselves out where they weren't supposed to. I mean, they didn't want them there, and they imposed themselves in other countries where they didn't really want them there. So I believe that, in a way, uh, we shouldn't, well, yeah, I'm kind of on a, you know, on a here and there basis because I believe that America did do their wrongs, but it doesn't take two, you know, two wrongs doesn't make a right. Like, since they bombed us, we shouldn't bomb them. We shouldn't kill innocent lives. So I think pretty much America, war sucks, you know, stop, stop the war. Violence is bad. Two wrongs don't make a right. That's pretty much it. No, I don't support the war on terrorism. Um, I don't support George Bush either. I don't know. It's probably not part of the question, but... Um, <laughs> I don't believe that anything will come good from, from a war type situation. Um, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed, I think, but acts of violence isn't going to help anything, so. I don't think war is the exact answer, however, I feel that something should be done because of the acts on New York, and being from New York, they hit really close to home, and, uh, it's a frightening thing, and I've never been a supporter of war before, but I feel that something must be done to prevent this from happening again. Um, I would say yes, I support the war on terrorism, but no, I may not support the way the U.S. handles the war on terrorism because I spent the last quarter in Copenhagen, and I think that that had a lot to do with the way I think about it now because I realize the way other countries view the U.S. policies, and I've had a lot, a greater insight on that. And so I think that terrorism is a really bad thing and it shouldn't happen to anyone, including the U.S. or any other country. And I also think that the U.S. could do other better things to support other people who are experiencing the same types of terrorism in their countries. Nicole? I don't support the war on terrorism. And the reason why I don't is because I feel that this war is reactionary and that we're not using enough diplomacy in order to further um, the global good. Like we're just thinking of the United States as this island when really we're part of a world and we have to negotiate with people. We can't just bomb them when, when we don't like what they're saying and what their politics are. Yeah, I think this war on terror is definitely spreading to um, other countries now, like Israel and other places are using our war on terror to back up their war on terror supposedly I don't really think that any of it's coming to any good and it's just building on itself definitely um, absolutely not I think it is useless to kill humans for no apparent or for apparently no good reason I think that um, there's no reason to fight over any religion one person should believe whatever makes him happy. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, hi, how's it going? Um, I'm a little skeptical about the war on terrorism, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't actually believe that it's getting a lot solved. And uh, I think we're actually realizing that internationally it's creating some new wars. And uh, it's, it's really looking like it's going to be a huge problem for all of us, especially as a more like localized stuff gets brought into the United States, because you'll obviously see more response from the the U.S. government, and that's what's basically been creating all these other problems, so, well, yeah, that's about it. 
No, I don't, because actually, I, I believe there's other ways to take care of the war than instead of fighting and killing people. I think that we should probably try to negotiate something. I don't know, Bush is all up on killing people right away, so he just jumps on that. that I don't support the war on terror because I think that everyone should get along and I think there's a way for all of us to treat each other equally. <laughs> I do not support Bush's war on terrorism because many innocent people are dying. And I believe that war creates more terrorism. I really don't have an opinion because I don't care. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do support uh, a lot of the security measures that are being uh, put into place. Um, to make uh, especially uh, airports and airplanes uh, safer. Um, I wish, uh, however, that uh, the war on terrorism were not being, in my opinion, uh, used uh, in certain ways to push through certain uh, uh, programs of the Bush administration. Um, and I also wish that the United States would make a stronger effort to um, uh, put pressure on the Israeli government um, to, to withdraw from the occupied territories. Um, and I think that would be the best way to, um, to relieve tension in the Middle East and, and reduce terrorism. So I wish more emphasis were being placed in those areas. I don't support war in any form, in any place, for any reason. Well, well, the murderous acts that were committed, I think we had to do some retaliation for terrorism. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it seems that things are boiling up in that uh, Mideastern area that we have to, shouldn't have, ta should have taken care of when he had the Gulf War. And we didn't finish, so I guess we have to do it now. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think that the terrorists are right because they're dumbasses. Um, I don't, I don't feel right with what they do, and if they're gonna continue to do stuff that is gonna affect other people in like ways like that, then I'm against it. Um, yeah, I suppose it has to be the way it is, but it's kind of sad and there's lots of innocent people. And I think that America could go about it a different way. Not just America, but the whole thing could be managed differently. Um, but yes, I do. There we go. <laughs>